DIY floor lamps using wooden letters. If we hold ourselves together, we'll go far. Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using letters that I got from Michael's craft store to beautify a thrift store lamp. These are letters that are made for hanging, but I'm going to be using them to decorate a floor lamp. I'm going to be adding together five of these wooden letters with mending plates. The screws that come with the mending plates are kind of long, so I'm going to use shorter screws so that they don't show at the front of the letters. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to be repeating the same thing. And this time around, it's going to be for the back of the lamp. To attach these letters together, you can also use craft sticks. But then you have to use a strong adhesive that's going to hold the craft sticks tightly together with the letters. There are strong adhesives out there that can work like adhesive caulks or an E6000 or even the strong adhesive that they sell at the Dollar Tree. Now I noticed that the letters that I got were not straight and that made me so upset because I thought every single letter O that I got was straight. But unfortunately, they were not. I just hope they don't show as much when I'm done with the project. I'll be cutting out the shapes that I need from a Dollar Tree chopping mat. The shapes that I'm going to be cutting out are going to be attached at the back of the letters.
If you like white, well, depends on the letters that you get from the store, I got white. Now, if you don't like white, you can spray paint them to the color of your choice. I used silver because where I'm gonna keep it has silver decor, so I spray painted it silver and the middle part was slightly spray painted silver as well, so that the light from the transparent sheet will look interesting. I'll be covering the sheets in the middle with glass Mod Podge. After that, I'm going to be sprinkling crushed mirror glass over it. I'm going to let this dry for a bit and remove the excess crushed glass that's going to be on top before attaching it to this old lamp that I got from the thrift store. Here's the string lights that I'm going to be using in the middle of the lamp to give it an interesting look. And I did tie the string lights around where the openings are on the pattern that I made using the letters. This string light comes with a USB port and a fuse as well. I put the design at the bottom of the lamp to make it easy for me to know exactly where the lights are supposed to be and I'm holding the lights down with a transparent tape. As I have the lamp on the floor, I've got two designs. One is going to be at the top and one is going to be at the bottom. I'll be holding them together with zip ties. If you like, you can use a strong adhesive and then when it's dry, you can remove the zip ties. Now I'm going to leave my zip ties there and then I spray painted them silver just so that it would look like a ring. Here's what the side looked like and I'm going to be covering that up with mirror mosaic tiles. These are self-adhesive and I'll leave a link for this down in the description box below. Here's what the lamp looks like now and it's so unique and so interesting and it has a lava look when the lights are on. Like I said before, I left the zip ties on because I spray painted them silver and it doesn't really bother me, but if it's going to bother you, you can use a strong adhesive to put the letters together and then remove the zip tie once the strong adhesive is dry. I really love how this turned out and I hope you all enjoyed this video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.